power washing. Power? No, we're not with the power washers. No. What is y'all from? Sorry? Who are y'all with? Sorry? What are you doing? You're not supposed to have uh, video cameras on the premises, though. Yeah, I no? didn't want y'all taking my picture. Thank you kindly. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm against it press and we are coming to you today from Theodore, Alabama. Uh, we are at the US Post Office here in Theodore and we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the watchman today and uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check, Tuesday, November 2nd, happy November. It is 2.16 in the afternoon, and it is 73 degrees, sunny and absolutely beautiful here in Theodore, Alabama. Uh, a little bit windy out, but uh, I think we've got the audio pretty, uh, pretty secured here so if uh, any issues let me know in the comments but I think we should have a pretty good day here and uh, hopefully all goes well and we'll get some good content for you so stand by hey Megan out watching what's up it's happening welcome to uh, Bama yeah. first time we've ever been in Alabama so uh, very cool and uh, I gotta tell you so far Alabama's got some of the friendliest people we've met in the country. We've been to uh, quite a number of states here. And uh, Alabama's got some good peeps so far. Uh, we'll see if that holds true here at the post office today. What do you think, Watchman? Hang out out here on the sidewalk for a little bit? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll hang out on the sidewalk for a little bit. Uh, then we will go up and take a look at what kind of signage we have on the front door. We'll take a walk around the property, uh, check out the back loading dock area, and uh, see what's going on around the parking lot, back side of the building. And of course, as you all know who follow our channels, we will be going inside. Uh, we'll give you a good look at the inside of the station and uh, also be buying our stamp as we always do. So uh, stand by. All right, guys, so let's check out what kind of signage we have here. Uh, main post office, Theodore, Alabama. And uh, we have this sign on the door, which is the only sign. No hours, no uh, holidays, no legal notices, nothing except for that one sign. So uh, there's that. It's supposed to be down a year ago yesterday. Oh, the takedown date? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys know about that, but uh, postal signs in particular, but uh, federal notice signs such as these. If you look in the corner here, there's a blue box with an arrow pointing up and then a white box with an arrow pointing down. The up tells them what date to put it up. Down tells them what date to take it down. Uh, so you're looking at, this was supposed to go up 7 8 20 and come down on 10 31 20. I'm sorry? 
Oh, we're just making a little story about the post office. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have a wonderful day, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, oh, so here's their parking. back parking lot. Let's check out the signage back here. So far, all I'm seeing is a sign on either side that says authorized vehicles only, uh, which means that non-authorized vehicles can't go back here. And uh, like I said before, signs really do matter, guys. Um, there's nothing here that would indicate that a pedestrian is not allowed to walk back here. Nothing at all. It does not say restricted area. It doesn't say no trespassing. Uh, it doesn't say um, uh, you uh, post office employees only. It just says authorized vehicles only. Um, so I'm not a uh, unauthorized vehicle. That's an interesting sign. Yeah, it is. That's the first time I've seen one of those. So here's the loading dock. And you can see all the postal vehicles, couple of employees, cars, I'm assuming, parked back here. See all your delivery trucks. Oh, they have a nice big green area behind here. I wonder if this is part of it. Looks like it is. That's nice. And it's clean. Yeah, I hate to say it, but most, po most post offices have uh, terrible litter maintenance on the properties, especially if you go around the back or on the sides of the buildings. They uh, tend to keep the front a little neater, but uh, this is nice. It's picturesque, it's clean. And uh, nice and cool out today in the shade, so good on them for keeping it neat. Have a little shed here. And here's their loading dock area. wonder what this sign says up here. So we have a sign here that says, do not enter. But uh, no restricted signs, no, no trespassing signs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty good in the shade, huh? Washing. Sorry? You got on the power washers. Power, no, we're not with the power washers. No. What is y'all from? Sorry? Who are y'all with? Oh, I'm not with any. I'm with myself. I'm not with anyone. Are you just Do you work here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know who you were. Right. Yeah. Who are y'all? We're just taking a look at the post office. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Are you a postmaster or station manager? <laughs> Sorry? Ma'am? Did I say something off color? Well, see, that's not a way to behave. That's not nice. It says authorized personnel only. No, it says authorized vehicles only. Wow, that's, see, the, there's a prime example, guys. Prime example of what can sometimes happen when you're nice to somebody. A lot of times they get comments, why weren't you just nice to the lady? I'm always going to be nice. It's not going to change how I behave as long as she came out cordial. But uh, just to stop talking, hide behind the little mail bin thing here and then walk inside and just abruptly end the conversation like that after I was being very respectful. Yep. All right, well, let's carry on with what we were doing here. 
Um, we didn't look at this side of the building. Oh, she's going to love it when we go inside then. Wouldn't even identify herself. And, and that's another thing, guys. If, if somebody doesn't properly identify themselves as being in a position of authority or being somebody that you should have to listen to, you can just walk away. Huh? You're going to come out under color of law if it's a police officer or uh, color of authority like this young lady just did here. You know, she was giving us uh, directives, um, acting in her official capacity. Um, you know. Somebody shine his shoes back here. <laughs> Very easily could have identified herself. Now we have another guy walking around back here. See, maybe he's more friendly. Hello, sir. How are you? Are you an employee here at the post office? Yes. Oh, okay. Because a young lady came out, she was asking us what we were doing. We were having a cordial conversation. She just turned around and walked away, so I didn't know what happened. Yeah. You're not supposed to have uh, video cameras on the premises, so. I can't, I'm, with this thing running, I can't hear you. You're talking oh, very well. I said we're not supposed to have video cameras on the premises where, uh, like, uh, non-employees aren't allowed back in the back. I didn't see anything. I, I'm very careful to look for signs telling yep. me to stay out, and there are none. Authorized personnel only. Back. It doesn't say personnel. It says authorized vehicles only. Mm -hmm. And since I'm not a vehicle, I thought that just meant okay. you don't want unwanted vehicle traffic back here. No. Doesn't say anything about pedestrians, but I do follow signs. Okay. All right. Can I just ask what your position here, who you are? Yes, supervisor. Supervisor. You're station manager or supervisor? Supervisor. Okay, yes. gotcha. Mm -hmm. well, we mean you no harm. We're just taking oh, yeah, some that's video. Fine. That's fine. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Okay, very good. It is. And your name? Greg. Greg? Yeah. My name's Jason Greg. Okay. Pleasure Greg to meet you. To meet you. Yep. Appreciate it. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't know if you're this young lady's supervisor. I'm not trying to file no, any kind of complaint or no, anything. she's postmaster. She's the postmaster. Right. Okay. Well, she should act a little more professional, just in my humble opinion. Because she came out and asked me what we were doing. I answered her just like I well, answered we you. A, we get a lot of uh, transient people in here. And I... Transients don't usually yeah. carry cameras oh, like I, this. I but we do. We have a lot of people like that live in the woods here, literally, and uh, had some theft and people going back into the shed and things like that. So. Okay. No, and I understand that, but I think she yeah. understood right away, just like you did, that we're yeah. not those guys. Yeah. Um, but all I'm suggesting is she came out, asked me what we were doing. I was gave her the same answers, the same cordial response I'm giving you, and then she just decided to turn around and walk away. So... You know, maybe if somebody's not supposed to be, maybe just follow through, end the conversation in a professional way, especially from the postmaster. That's a little right. surprising. But I Don't appreciate your courtesy. Are you doing a project courtesy. or anything? Or? Sorry? you doing a project or anything? We are. We're making a video about post offices, yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, they actually have a website with photographs of almost every post office. Oh, I like to get my own. Yeah, no, but that is, I have, I have seen uh, them. Yeah. called, uh, like, I believe it's postcards.org. Something like, yeah. Buildings, yep. you know, of all that. We had one student that uh, I'm just gonna stand on this side, so one I'm student that did a project also for okay. uh, their thesis, and she had to come out into a public place. So we let her, you know, come back there and stand in front of her camera and do, you know, her presentation and everything. Pretty interesting. There's a lady that I know. I don't know her personally, but I know of, uh, yeah. who worked for the post office for 30 some odd years, mm -hmm. and now she's traveling from state to state and she's trying to take a picture of herself in front of every post office in the country. Yeah, you That's can look her up on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, no, I appreciate you being cordial and professional, oh, yes. sir. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. All right. All righty. Thank you. I will compliment you on how neat you keep the property. Oh, well, that's a lot, a lot of post offices have, you You know, the front looks nice, but then you go around the sides and the back, and there's just litter and garbage everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys have a nice little piece of greenery back there, and you keep it very nice. So thank yep. you for that. Yep. Sure appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, that's interesting. So that woman was the postmaster. Wow. wow. The postmaster. Hiding behind a uh, mail bin. Wow. She's lucky that guy was here to save her day. But like I always say, guys, it ain't over till it's over. We haven't even gone inside yet. We're going to stick around the front here for a few minutes. So things get interesting uh, sometimes right at the end when you think it's all over. So stand by. This one's far from done. So you can see they have a uh, drive up here, which is nice. Sometimes, you know, you didn't, uh, you didn't fix your hair, you didn't put your makeup on, you didn't shave, 
and uh, or you're just in a piss poor mood and you don't feel like dealing with anybody so you go through the drive through it's nice that's funny man they thought we might have been some transients trying to break into the shed yeah and uh, comment if you guys uh, have a second let us know what you think of the video and the audio let us know if there's anything we can uh, improve or adjust always trying to make it better so funny story, we were walking around in uh, Fairhope, Alabama, which is just about maybe half an hour away from where we are now, uh, yesterday, just uh, enjoying the scenery and enjoying the day, taking some video, you know, playing with the new cameras and uh, settings and stuff. And uh, it was absolutely amazing. We were uh, taking some video on the sidewalk and a woman who owns a jewelry store had the door wide open for customers to come in. It was a beautiful day like today. And... Uh, she went to close the door, noticed that we were filming, and said, would you guys like me to leave the door open or closed? And I said to her, well, I'd prefer you leave it open if that's okay. And she said, oh, sure, no problem at all. Just let me know if you need anything else. So I uh, figured, all right, friendly lady. That's uh, very nice of her. First time that's ever happened. I usually get doors slammed in my face. And then uh, probably about 20 minutes later, we're walking down the street and there was a beautiful building that was having some restoration work done. And there were two guys up on the third floor on a scaffold outside the building, standing on scaffolding and uh, noticed that we were taking video or pictures, whatever they thought we were doing. And they yelled down to us, hey, do you guys want us to get down off the scaffold so you can get your shots? So they were actually willing to climb down three stories off the scaffolding just to get us, let us get the pictures or video that we wanted to get and then go back to work in the middle of their job. I've never experienced anything like this before. So, uh, so far, Alabama is uh, as friendly as they say it is. Maybe even a little friendlier. You absolutely can, man. Here, I'll even get the door for you. Okay. Well, I didn't want to walk out. No? I didn't want y'all taking my picture. Thank you kindly. <laughs> well, all right, guys. The watchman has decided it's time to go in. So, uh... We're going to go inside and get our stamps. Stand by. After you, Mr. Watchman, sir. So the Theodore Post Office. So this is, explains the signage. It's all in here. Yeah. And they have uh, signs up here on the doors that are normally, like this sign here is normally on the front door. Yeah. This is normally on the front door. But uh, good. Good to see that uh, Theodore is mixing it up. Poster 7 behind a rack here. Yeah, Poster 7 being blocked. Oh, photographs for news and advertising. Portion of it blocked there. And that's from 2007. So it's an older copy. Most recent one I've seen is 2018. <clears throat> so uh, post office boxes. Here's the uh, pricing if anyone's interested in getting a box here in Theodore. Really? Oh yeah, look at that. That's not good. Oh, I'm sorry, Excuse man. Excuse me. Pardon me. My bad. Yeah, there's no fire extinguisher in here? All right, that's not good. Fire inspector's slacking. That's a good thing. It means you don't have any bills, that's right? That's exactly what that means. Right? You, got, you got yourself all paid up. That's it. Right? There you it, go. Might not, it might not be all paid up, but I ain't got no bills. Good for you. You have a wonderful day. So yeah, we got to let them know about that fire extinguisher. That's important. Well, if you see something, say something. Yeah, we got a <laughs> backpack here. Who knows what's in that? So uh, yeah, we'll let them know about both things. Um, I probably wouldn't have just said something about the backpack by itself. Yeah. I don't know what that is. None of my business. But this uh, 
for those of you that have been following us since my New York days, I used to be a uh, volunteer firefighter in New York for some time. And, uh, you know, I uh, have that fire safety thing ingrained into my mind. So, yeah, we definitely, uh, you don't even need to have been a firefighter to know that there should be a fire extinguisher in there. That's, that's pretty common sense. So we'll see. If we, and it's right across the door from where they all come out every day. Yeah. So... Maybe they just used it yesterday, and somebody's on the way to replace it today. I don't know. We'll find out as we get our stamp. Hello. So what are you doing? Sorry? What are you doing? Coming in to speak to the postmaster. I'm just curious. No, that's okay. Curiosity's okay with me? How you doing today? I'm good. How good. are you? I can see that beautiful smile under the mask. <laughs> you can't hide it, man. So I do need a stamp, but also is your postmaster available? I just have a couple of things I just want I to think point out to her. that's the one that you talked to in the bag. Yes. We go get her. I didn't catch her name. Otherwise, I'd ask for her by name. Oh. And you have a beautiful smile as well. I don't want to leave you out. Uh, thank you. I'm sure you get told that once in a while. You got to be on YouTube, don't you? YouTube? Yeah. You ever you watch YouTube? I do. Well, have you seen us? I think that's what I'm like. I think they're the guys from YouTube. Yeah, there you go. go around and make sure we have all our regulations and stuff up. Yes, ma'am. Got to make sure everything's up to I, snuff, right? I said, I said, I hope they never come here. Yeah. No. Well, there's, you know yes, what? There, there's a there's a couple of guys that do stuff on YouTube. You might hope that never come here, but not us. Yeah. yeah. You know, just I like just. It. Just, just like with postal employees, just like with camera guys, just like with anything in life, there's good and bad. See? Yeah. So we, we try to keep it on the up and up and be productive and positive. 42. Now you need a receipt. Thank you, ma'am. You too. You want a receipt? Yes, ma'am, please. All right. And let me go get Rob. Did you for actually you. ever watch our channels? Have I, you seen I me? I think on? so. Yeah. I really do, because uh, I know you, uh, there's some that go around to the post offices, but I. Um, Cause I watch YouTube all the time. Well, I'm so. gonna give you my channel name before I yeah, leave. Yeah, cause I really think I've seen you guys. Absolutely. I think so. Cause y'all travel around to different states, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we've been in uh, oof, over 30 states yeah. in the past two years. Yeah, yeah. driving. Yeah. 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 I think I've yeah. seen you guys. It's a beautiful country we live in, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go get Robin for you. Thank you, dear. So Mary is wonderful. I think uh, maybe some people should. Uh, We'll see how the postmaster is when she comes out now, but I think she could learn a, two, a thing or two from Mary here in uh, customer relations. So if uh, contact information will be in the description if anyone's interested in uh, letting them know what you think. I think uh, it's even, I should say, just as important to celebrate our uh, good public servants as it is to point out the ones who are uh, not so much. So... Kudos to Mary. Is it possible I could just point something out to you in the lobby here real quick before we get out of your hair? I just have a couple of things I just want to show you here in the lobby. Thank you. Hello. Hey, how are y'all? Good, how are you? Having fun. How are you, sir? So uh, just wanted to point out two things to you real quick before we leave. A is the uh, fire extinguisher is gone. Right. Stolen. It was stolen? I yep. even I said that. I said, I wonder Again. if one of the transients took the fire extinguisher. Six years all the time. Yep. How long has it been missing? Got a backpack over there, too, that somebody left here. That was the other thing I was going to point out to you. Yeah, I don't know if you had any concerns know. about that. I already uh, looked through it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Cool. So you're just leaving it there, hoping they'll come back and pick it up? It's very nice of you. You're a nice guy. Yep. Yeah. So when does this get replaced? It doesn't. It doesn't? No. Why is that? Because it was uh, stolen multiple times. Oh, really? So what happens, God forbid, if there's an emergency and there's no... Well, then we grab one from inside. Customers will notify us. We have one inside, in the front and the back. I got you. And the fire marshal's okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually used to be a fireman, so that's why right. I asked these fire-related right. yeah, questions. They, they were just here not too long ago. So. Okay. And I guess they... Uh, and there's no way to uh, secure that any better, huh? You'd have somebody smashing glass out here, I guess, if it was glass. Yep. I think that's why they ended up going with the uh, plastic. Wow. Doesn't even look like that kind of neighborhood. Looks like you're in a beautiful spot here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said on that, huh? Well, I really can't tell you how yeah. much, how important it is for people to present themselves and represent the post office in the way that you did here today. 
And uh, we thank you for that and uh, appreciate your service. Thanks for noticing that we keep you clean, too. Yeah, you do. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah Very do. much. And it seems like even the uh, customers you have coming in here are just a friendly bunch. Seems like everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's happy. And mm -hmm. we appreciate you keeping it that way. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, guys, um, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, you know, as you guys know what I'm always saying, uh, we have no control over how these things go. Uh, these audits happen very organically the way we do them. I'm just speaking about our channels. Uh, we don't do anything to try to influence the good, influence the bad. Uh, we just come out and do what we do and uh, get the reactions we get. And I'm happy to report that everything is uh, healthy and uh, fine here in Theodore, Alabama. Now, why the postmaster uh, officer in charge didn't want to come out and deal with that stuff directly herself, probably just a personal issue with the cameras is uh, what I'm putting together in my own mind. And, uh, you know, that's okay, I guess, if you want to work in the private sector. But when you're working for the public, you have an obligation to the public. You have an obligation to respond to people's questions, needs, um, address any concerns that people might have. Um, I'm glad she had a supervisor here who was able to take that up and do that for her. Um, he was a very nice guy. Uh, Mary behind the counter is fantastic. And, uh, you know, all around uh, good response. I just hopefully hope the uh, postmaster winds up seeing this video, the OIC winds up seeing this video. And uh, I don't know, maybe step out of your comfort zone once in a while. Um, it's a good, healthy thing to do. Don't get stuck where you are. There's a lot of things going out there, and there is life past your comfort zone, so get out there and experience it. Um, but that's it. So always like to remind you guys before we cut out that if you enjoy what we do, you like our videos, and you want to support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. doesn't cost you a penny, and all that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Watchman and I are out here learning something old every day, and uh, I call it something old because it's only new to us. So um, I invite you to do the same. Get out there, live your own life. Don't listen to other people's subjective opinions about places and things. Get out there and check it out for yourself. Uh, you might be surprised what you find. So uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you. So for now, coming to you from the United States Post Office in Theodore, Alabama. Where is he? Watching a watchman. Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.